Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have my buddy Ben. How you doing? He has this beautiful 2024 Flagstaff fifth wheel and he has a shocker hitch. Now if you're new to my channel, I had the Rescoose box for five years. It was an amazing pin box and I'm going to show you guys around this one and at some point we're going to take this trailer out, tow it and see how well it does. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. Ben, why did you choose the shocker hitch? So I got to looking at it, right? And mm -hmm. I saw the Reese and I saw all that out there. Mm -hmm. And I started watching the videos. And I started watching some of the testimonials. And people love this hitch, right? Yeah. And I don't know that it's as well known out here mm -hmm. or on the fifth wheel side of it. But if you go in, you see a lot of commercial guys. And they do. They make a hitch for everything, right? Yes. You can get it for your conventional towing. Same airbag, right? Mm -hmm. You can get it with the, the sway bars, disconnect, all of that stuff. Nice. And I mean, they cover everything. Yeah, and I saw they even have one for gooseneck trailers too. Yes. Yeah, so if you do tow pretty heavy, this does cover a lot of weights. Like, so I think I saw what, 24,000 pounds of, yes. of hitch, or uh, not hitch weight, of, of trailer weight. Trailer weight, and that's just for this, right? Yeah. And those, the, you know, the goosenecks. I was watching one video and the guy's like, I just got this trailer yesterday, right? Uh -huh. He already had the he already had the hitch on there. He's yeah. like, this is the only way to go because you're not beating yourself up. Exactly. Well, the thing about it is when I look inside your bed, yes. that's the biggest selling point in my opinion. Like the bed space, Yes. after you unhook your trailer, you don't have this big 200 pound hitch that's hard to move by yourself. And you don't have to find a place in the garage to put it, right? There you go. Yep. And when you look at the price, so if you get the, the Reese conversion, right, mm -hmm. which is your big triangle type thing with the ball on top, yeah. right, and then you have to put the piece on there, you're not much more for the shocker hitch. Yes. And you don't have to store, you know, when it's not in the back of your truck, you don't have to store that piece. Yeah. And everything's just right there. So now with this, I can be like, call my wife and be like, hey, can you go drop the ball in the truck, mm -hmm. right, with the two chain connections yep. and she can jump up there slap that down in there <laughs> right lock yep. it in and we're good to go absolutely oh yeah and you're right i mean you you have the best bmw goose ball you can get has a handle on there and so you don't have to get your hands dirty so yep. it did come pre-greased you said too yep. the the hitch did come pre-greased nice there. it has one grease point on it okay so nice yeah let's go ahead and show you guys that grease point i was actually looking for it and it is right smack dab right here Right in the front. Right in front. So, first impressions. My Reese Goose Box, it did sit down low. Online it shows this is like a three inch offset. So if you are concerned with those short beds like that, one good thing about GM trucks from 2020 up, they did add the fifth wheel prep package slightly behind the axle. So it does give you better clearance. Um, Ram trucks have the smallest beds. Hopefully, if we have a chance, I'll go grab a Ram truck with okay. a short bed and we'll try to and try test it out. it out and see if we can go with a 90 degree turn. But yeah, this has that three inch offset. Now, 24,000 pound towing capacity, right? Yeah. Tongue weight, 6,000 pounds. You know, I'm not going to max it out. <laughs> You're not going to max it out. So that means this is overbuilt too. Yes. It's overbuilt. overbuilt. Yes. So oh, back to my Reese Goose box. Some of the advantages for having a gooseneck too. This is the biggest reason why I bought a gooseneck for my last trailer versus just a fifth wheel hitch and a pin box. A lot of my friends have all had their RV drop on their truck. And that's because either the fifth wheel hitch would malfunction or they thought they were locked in and they weren't. Once this weight hits that ball, unless you forget to lock it in, I mean, even if you forget to lock it in, if you pull off and you remember you forgot to lock it in, it ain't going anywhere unless you hit a big bump on the highway. True. The odds of this coming off that ball are very slim to none. And that was the biggest selling point. A lot of people online had issues with their fifth wheel hitches not locking in. And of course the BMW had the dual draws for the fifth wheel hitches, things like that. But I think this is the best way to tow. Now the other advantages are you have this airbag back here and you just put about what? 15 pounds of 15 pressure. 15 pounds of pressure in there. And it has these rubber grommets here on both sides. So that was pretty similar to the Reese Goose Box. Also, this mechanism here goes forward and back 
to help with like bucking and chucking. So this yes. will help with shock to the <clears throat> truck and the trailer, which is nice too. Now, the only thing that my Reese Goose Box had that this one doesn't is the shock absorbers. So it had yeah. two shock absorbers built in on it. And that was pretty much the only thing that it had. But one thing that's the advantage here is this is adjustable. And it's a lot easy to adjust. With the Reese Goose Box, you cannot adjust it as easy because the only way you could adjust it is from here. With this one, you guys can see, this is adjustable, looks like three points here. So if you do have a lifted truck, or if your truck sits a little bit lower, this can adjust and accommodate more trucks. Yes. The main advantage for me to go to the gooseneck was, if I ever tow, I mm -hmm. just want to have it all the same, right? Yeah. So okay. if I want to go rent a piece of machinery, I can get a gooseneck. I've already got the setup. Don't have to worry about it. The fifth wheel hitch is limited to the fifth yeah. wheel. Yep, there you go. So, And that's absolutely correct, too. Yeah, if you don't want to have a big fifth wheel hitch in your bed, and you do have a gooseneck trailer. Yeah, that's a yep. good point. Yeah, you don't have to worry about having to take the hitch out to get the gooseneck trailer out. So yeah, that's that's a really good point. Now, let's go ahead and hook up. You ready to do that? Let's do it. Cool. Take the lock off. Oh yeah, that's another advantage too. I had the first generation Reese Goose Box. So on mine, you can't lock it like this one. So you bought the lock from bought the dealer. Bought the lock from nice. the dealer, yep. That is nice. So basically, if you do put your trailer in storage, you don't have to worry about someone trying to hook up and steal your trailer, basically. Well, and they have an another one, too, that actually encloses all of this. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. That is nice. So they give you options. Yeah. All right, before we get started, let's go over a little bit about how this works. <clears throat> so you have your chains here on both sides. These are adjustable, so you can nice. pull in or let out as much as you want. Um, great design there. Just back it up under, center your ball. And it's as easy as pulling this forward and locking it with the pin. No hassle. That's locked. And what's unlocked? And unlocks right here. And it just slides this big pin yes. down through there and just right underneath the ball and just sucks it right up. And how do you air it up? So there's the valve right back here. And it's just a regular, regular valve. I just hook up my little portable uh, air compressor to it. Yeah and you can go so you start at 15 they say to go in five pound increments until you get the right one uh-huh and then once you're once you're dialed in you're dialed in wow Zoom in there. Zoom in. Oh, can you see? Oh, there right, we that's, go. That's very good. Let me go check you. Okay, go check. A little bit more. Keep going. A little bit more. A little bit more. One more inch. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Perfect. It actually rolled back exactly how I wanted it to, uh -huh. because it was like just a little bit off. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm gonna show them really quickly okay. where it's at. Actually, can you put it back on the camera view? Yeah. So you can't really see, but it's zoomed in. But let me just show you guys up back to where it's at too, because it doesn't have to be necessarily perfect, because it will catch it. It's kind of like, like circled off, like what do you call it? Yeah. It's rounded off, I guess. That's yes. probably the best way to say it's rounded off so it can slide in there easily, but yeah, that was perfect. And you just hold it. Actually, you know what? You can hit retract. I'll show you something else too. That was perfect. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. So Ben has a lot of solar too, by the way. So this trailer has a lot of hitch weight, so we're gonna get it weighed tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see how heavy this black stuff is. It's a 361 RL. We did a walk through the RV2. That's it. They're off the ground. See, this 3500 can handle it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good to go. Oh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys 
like kind of getting it all locked in and what we have to do next. So now, got to put the chains on. And look where the seven pin plug is too. It's a nice little spot right there. Actually, it's locked in there. So you have this pin that you have to slide through. There we go. With this double security there. Yep, that's perfect. DOT compliant. Yep. <laughs> And then you have your seven pin. Yep, seven pin. And see, I like where GM puts their plugs. It's so convenient right there on the side. Oh, there we go. And that's pretty much it. Once you've dropped the weight on the ball, locked in the coupler, put the chains, and his breakaway switch is on the chain, so we're good to go. That's it. That was That's easy. It. That That's was easy. easy. What is the last advantage you get with the shocker hitch? Well, so I believe it's going to be weight, right? Okay. So you're looking at about 150 pounds with the shocker hitch. Mm -hmm. And when it when you install it, right, I've, they have a video, two people install it. And then you don't have to put in the fifth wheel in the back, which is about 150. Yeah. You know, if you're if you're at a good solid one, and yeah. you're not going to skimp out on this after you spent money on the truck and the trailer, yeah. just like you said earlier, you don't want it to drop out. And I've seen videos where somebody dropped it, yeah. a hot oh, yeah. shot, and it just ripped all the way back oh, his yeah. bed. Uh huh. And oh yeah. Was, yeah. And, and and to your point, yeah, having the pin box because uh, it's about eighty to ninety pounds. Even a base pin box is going to be eighty or ninety pounds. Mm -hmm. And if you get a good fifth wheel hitch, it's probably about one hundred fifty to two hundred fifty pounds. So if you're using a single rear wheel truck. And you're using a bigger trailer than this. I mean, I'm willing to bet you this trailer's probably 23 to 2400 pounds with your solar. Solar. I'm willing to yeah. bet you. And then you have the AC unit up front too. And this is a pretty big, heavy trailer. So I'm willing to bet you 23 to 2400 pounds. In some cases, once you add your gear, your family, and a fifth wheel hitch, that yeah. fifth wheel hitch can make a break you over your payload. So exactly. I exactly. So I do like <laughs> having the gooseneck and then having all the other advantages. It's just easier to hook up to as you guys just saw it's just a little bit easier yep and on top of that your bed is free once you're unhooked from your trailer too so exactly yeah. you can put your gas can up front oh, put yeah. your generator up front mm -hmm. right i mean you could probably do that with the with the fifth wheel too but i mean it's just there it's more accessible you don't have to take the fifth wheel out or lift the generator over the side yeah. of the truck uh-huh oh you yeah you can just you know remove your pin yeah just pull it right out the back after you've disconnected mm -hmm. and you're good to go yep and in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys clearance. So will the truck come in contact with the trailer? Every trailer is a little different, but with this sharker hitch, you have that offset of about three inches. Yes. Let's see a nine degree turn if we can do one, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you guys the clearance between the bed and the uh, fifth wheel, obviously. And then, of course, the tailgate down and yes. the clearance with it between the bottom of the fifth wheel in the tailgate. So Perfect. be sure to subscribe to your channel. Ben, dude, this is awesome. I had a lot of fun today, bro. Man, Thank it's you. It's been great. Absolutely, been great. bro. This is awesome. See you guys soon.